Good morning, y'all. Ryan Lawrence, Nashville Cats Fishing. So, tournament morning, we're out here on Carlisle Lake in Illinois. Um, we have a pretty decent game plan. I know we're going to catch probably a lot of fish today. I mean, I could see close to 50 channel cats coming over the board today. We're just going to have to try to weed through them, see if we can't find. Honestly, we need three fish around 10 pounds. Uh, there's no slot limit here, so, but we, I mean, if we have a chance of winning, we're going to have to find three really nice fish, so stay tuned. Um, be a lot of action, I would, I would take. I'm sure we caught about 35 to 40 fish yesterday. You know, it was a bunch of fish, and we weren't trying. We kept moving, trying to find bigger fish, but this morning, we have a good plan, and um, let's hope we can get them. Stay tuned.
It's that lazy flathead. Yeah, hey, no flathead. Ain't <laughs> clearly right here. What about weighing this one? I want the net or not?
getting everybody else lying over here. Actually, I'm playing on your side. I'm doing. Uh, uh, Well, you need to get on the back and do some rod flipping around, do it. Yeah, that'll be great. Right here, I don't want them, this is where I don't want them diving under the motor. Ooh, I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Oh, there's a sneak in here. I'm going to try one. Of course, it's not recording. Hold on. You'll be alright. <laughs> I didn't have it recording. You what? I didn't have it recording all the way up there, so. The old uh, Peter smack. Clipboard or the other board? <laughs> Guess it was a good time to have one come in and do that because they were small. Ready? If you're ready. You're right. 
dude, I think we can help. That's for sure. Well, which was making me wonder now we're marking more bait. You know what I mean? We went that whole beginning section, now we're marking any bait. Come on now, honey. Come on. Look his tail's all tore up. It's right, right at 10 pounds. Right at 10, so he's nine and a half. Nice nine and a half pounder there. So I don't think you're recording, right? Red flash. Yeah. Oh. That's a double shatter. Yeah. You bet one got one free. We got a bargain chopper out here. Trying to do the rod maneuver around and they run at you? Yeah. And the clouds are coming in. I enjoy that. Yeah. They're bad for you. You want to do that? No. Nah. Nah. I can do it. Four. Four. Barely hooked. I might be able to just give him the old. No. <laughs> this is a little more hooked than I thought. Trying to kill him. Oh. The phone curse. Probably Vince. Yeah, he did it. Vince. It's a fucking tournament. Well, it's dumbasses. your turn man you top that nine and a half will be I hope find out you need me to get that board <laughs> at some point see I'm trying to walk over and avoid my board going into every other line see you're trying to yeah, that's way too much really hard on the board I can see him come up and do a shamu splash. Like, oh. Yeah, the big tail smash. And this one has the other clip. Just hold the bottom line, keep it tight, I guess. Bigger baits on these now. So you never know. I'm curious what hook can come on. The back one got the head on it. You can size tail on him. I mean, he might be a five. I don't, I don't, I don't like because it looks like a male's head, so it tells me he's gonna be skinny. In that form. Probably big enough, probably. I'll probably be hard to try to get him. Nice fish. Well, if we keep five. 
fish too. Big head on them. Would have been a nice fish six weeks ago. Of course, she's pissed. Five and a quarter. Show that one to the crown. There you go, folks. Here's a, about a five and a quarter. Look how long and skinny that fish is, but if you look at his head, it's big. It's typical post-spawn males. They uh, guard the nest for a while, so they end up getting big heads and skinny bodies. There you go. Dang, man, what he come? He come back. He come back. See on the top, he looks good. He come back to play again. He look good. Alright guys, we're going to head back in the weigh-in. Uh, this afternoon didn't go as well as we planned. We kind of bite really shut down for us. Um, we have three mediocre fish. I don't, I don't think it's going to get us a check or nothing, but stay tuned. We're going to run through the weigh-in line. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, we got Mark Boblett and Ryan Lawrence coming in fishing with us from Tennessee. Ryan and uh, Mark is sponsored by B&M Rods. They're fishing out of a sea art. Mark, can you turn around and show it over here? Hold on. That's a little one. He said that was a little one. He, it ain't worth showing off. That was right. That was all right. <laughs> there you go. Good job. How many did y'all catch today, Mark? Uh, only like 20. Way better bite yesterday. Way better bite Way better bite yesterday. yesterday, yeah. What do you think? drove the bite down today. Uh, pressure when the wind stopped. Woo! There you go. He's got an active live fish. He's got a good uh, live well. That's what we like to see is uh, good live wells with oxygen circulation when they come in. Yep, all these fish have been in great condition again today, guys. Uh, we had one fish come in earlier. Anglers had concerns about the health of the fish, and they brought it in early, weighed it, and got it back in the water so that it continued to stay healthy. All right, total weight, 24.36. 24.36. Great job, guys. That is a fourth place right now, guys, so hang in there. Let's talk again about payouts. These are pretty healthy payouts for one-day fishing tournament. Four grand for first place, 2100 for second, 1300 for third, 700 for fourth, and then 1000 bucks by from Anvil Rods for big fish and 500 for second big fish. Again, those are great.